Hey everyone, Skizma here. In my last video I showed off the drop pod I built, which if you haven't seen already you should definitely check out at the end of this video. Now it's time to show the other mechanics I've been working on that make up the actual mode. Looting is a key aspect to every battle royale, and usually there are a variety of ways to get it, such as opening something, destroying something, or going to a care package. I'm working on a loot system that has all three of these. The common loot you'll come across will be these destructible crates and baskets. For the crates, I plan for them to carry all weapons, but I'm implementing a rarity system that will make power weapons have a low chance of spawning. The baskets will hold grenades, equipment, and a few of the smaller weapons. Both will also carry this ammo pickup I've created, which I'll show more of in just a minute. Quick note, the equipment isn't working right in this build, so I actually can't add them to the basket loot pool just yet. For the other two loot types, I'm planning to use this weapon trunk for power weapons and the ordnance pod for legendary power weapon variants. Unfortunately, both of these are also broken in this build, so I'm limited in what I can do with them at the moment. In fact, legendary variants currently aren't working on pods, so for now, I have them spawning in the trunks and the regular power weapons on the pods. For the weapon trunks, the idea is to have about 10 or 15 set spawn locations on the map while having only 5 or so spawn randomly each match. This will make it interesting so that players have to learn the map to know these spots, but may have to search a few areas before finding one. For the pods, they'll act similar to care packages in other BRs. Setting up the scripts for the random loot in the crates and baskets was overall pretty simple, but there's no ammo pickup item so I had to make one myself. I made it so that when you pick it up, it deletes the box and replaces it with an open version to make it look like it was used, which I think looks pretty cool. Now let's see this all come together in my concept scene. Obviously in the real map the trunks will be harder to find and the pods won't drop until further into the match, but this is just a demonstration. Also just a reminder, this is the looting system I'm likely to use, but of course things are subject to change. In fact, now I'm actually considering leaving the pods as power weapons and opening up the trunks to all legendary variants, but these things will require testing to see what works best. I'm also working on a full 3 tier armor system which has been the toughest thing to script so far, but I'm making good progress on it so this will likely be what I show next. That's all I have for now, if you enjoyed the video please leave a like and comment down below what you think. And if you love the content and want to follow along with this project, please subscribe and follow me on Twitter as well. Thank you so much for watching, I'll catch you in the next one.